Uh, I'm videotaping. We'll just send you a video. Live? Okay. You're live. <laughs> Action. I'm used to it, so it's okay. Uh, overall, I really don't see anything super scary. Like I said, I mean, it's you know, it's still a rock solid house. Uh, the few things, like I said, when you see the report, don't get overwhelmed because there literally are 50 things, and I'm not done yet. So I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll they'll probably be close to 60 by the time I'm done with the report of my house at the office. So a little bit of roof debris. Uh, the roof itself is okay. It's not new, but it, you can survive for unless there's a nasty storm for you know, good five six years, give or take. Um, there's a satellite dish over there which technically makes it deficient, and there's a couple of other small things. Um, the siding, you know, some of the areas are not, it's not touching. Um, surprisingly, again, this house does not have 400 coats of paint. This almost looks like the original coat of paint on the outside because you can tell by the nail heads, you still, like, still see nail heads. Um, it's good and bad. It means there's not 50 tons of paint on there. This is old paint. I mean, 99.99% it's like that. Okay. I didn't test it for lead because I had to send it out to a lab. I can do that if you need me to. Um, but considering the age of the house and considering it's not been repainted, it is. How do you cure that? Paint it. Yeah. As long as you encapsulate it, it's no longer an issue. So Same thing with paint this Same thing with either lead or asbestos. Encapsulate it and paint suffices. Put two coats of paint on there and you're fine. It's encapsulated, it'll never have an issue. Uh, a little bit of deteriorated wood, a couple, you know, window trim and stuff like that, still go to the house. Uh, seals, you know, caulking around the edges, and in times of transition between materials or distances, you know, the direction, it, it requires that. Uh, missing a piece of trim up here with the fireplace. This fireplace, uh, since, well, I'm almost on, is pretty much non functional. Um, you could use it with some work. Uh, the chimney breaks on the outside will, you know, there's several loose breaks. The flue isn't built properly, it's cracked on the inside, so decoration um, is your best bet. Gives you a nice little TV with the fireplace on screen. There you go. <laughs> uh, it's a flaking paint in a few areas, so that actually would be, you know, I recommend getting that, you know, encapsulated for, for that issue. Um, in the front bedroom there, there was uh, probably from the way they installed that window unit, at one point in time there was a little bit of a leak. You can see it in the windowsill, a little bit on the floor, a little bit on the wall. Um, it's not right now, it's not soft, but it is, has happened to that, so I need to press it. Uh, I did put it in your slope floor, like we talked about. There's this, this barrel. It's just a little bit, you know, but again, that's because of the lack of structuring that I was explaining to them. You have a perimeter, stru uh, you know, perimeter ledge going all the way around the house and you have two, you know, one big beam running down the center. Everything's tied off that. It's too large of a span. So the beam's pretty much running around like this. So you're spanning from there to there to there to there, and then that's separate, you know, done a little bit different. But I would recommend running a beam underneath here and underneath there. Just add two more beams. Two more beams. Yeah, maybe shim a couple spots and you can do the um, this is a downspout over the side. The back door over there is a, uh, it's got a key lock. Yeah. It's supposed to be a thumb lock because in case there's a fire, there's no way to get out. We'll talk about that. Missing a couple screens, but we'll go figure. Uh, fireplace we'll talk about. So as far as making that a functioning fireplace, they would have to call it by a chimney. If you wanted to make that a functional fireplace, you would need a chimney guy to come out here. They would have to repoint uh, the lower bricks on the outside, repoint the bricks on the inside, um, probably sleeve it, which they run a uh, clay uh, a, a uh, clay tile down the center of it to sleeve it off. Um, then it can be a functional fireplace. Okay. That's the cheap way. Otherwise, tear down and rebuild a new one, that's expensive. Yeah. But yeah. fix your hair and sleeve, you'll be good to go. Okay. And how much would that cost? A price on that. Ballpark on that, to repoint all that, probably sleeve that. Oh, five grand. Okay. Give or take. Yeah. Replace that. That was my first gift. 15 to 20. Yeah. yeah. Um, the wiring has been updated uh, some people time. They put a GFI in the reset a lot in the bathroom, but none in the kitchen, which makes no sense. You, you need it in all wet locations, so the entire kitchen needs it. There's no laundry room inside. It's outside on the on the in the garage in front of the porch. That might suffice. There's a new plumbing code in the city of San Antonio that requires any house that's been probably hasn't been remodeled, so it doesn't fall in that category. If you remodel or flip a house in the city of San Antonio, it has to have a means to do laundry, which means that's somewhere to plug wash your environment. Okay, so there is a, a yeah. 220 in that yeah. closet over there. But no water lines. But no water lines. That's on them, not you. Right. Once yeah. you live here, I'm just letting you know that you can tell them that you can wander around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I found that out from houses I built and flipped, so. Okay. I did a house and the plumber's like, you did, but I'm like, no, I don't need this. Um. Like I said, no, no uh, GFI protection in the kitchen. Um, 
On the exterior panel, there is a main panel and then a sub panel, so they kind of wired it twice. Just follow me. On the sub panel, they uh, when they powered off the other one, they ran from the main over and then they, you know the other one. So technically, it has since it has a there's no main shock. So I'm trying to say there's no main shock. Oh, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that really should be changed up a little bit by the multiple okay. panels. Because um, she was trying to call me and I can't. This is smoke detectors and battery stuff like that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll just put batteries in there. Yeah, make sure there's smoke detectors. Make sure there's smoke detectors in every living area. So, bedrooms, living room, doesn't yeah. miss it. You need a carbon yeah. monoxide detector in the kitchen, but you do not necessarily need a smoke detector in the kitchen. Because your bedroom is so far. Okay, the toilet is a little loose in the bathroom. It should be tightened a little bit. That's the anchor on the base of it. Hey, girl. The plumbing that um, they did in the kitchen sink. So it's all flexible. Really should be solid green. Uh, and it really should be done. Right now, but just leave it on speaker. Um, on the uh, water heater over here in the kitchen, that door cannot be vented. That needs to be a sealed door. It needs to have a door seal all the way around it, and there needs to be a fresh air vent. Uh, yeah, that's completely a no no. Yeah, that's completely a no no because literally there's nowhere for the carbon monoxide to go. So that's, yeah, they, that needs to be sealed off, door needs to be sealed, you get a door sealed that's tight all the way around, it needs to be fresh air van going up the attic and off the roof. So, so yeah. that's something they'll have to do. They, yeah, yeah, that I would factor. harp on for safety factor because of carbon monoxide. I take carbon, carbon monoxide. monoxide. I almost lost my sister and whole family like 20 years ago because of it. So yeah. Yeah, yeah that needs to be yeah. done by them, the, uh, the yeah. seller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all the water heater stuff, water heater stuff, water heater stuff. So when you're talking about the washer dryer, like I know you're talking about if they flipped it, but like if they live here three to five years, when they go to sell the house, are they responsible for doing that? Okay. Real estate transaction in the meantime. And so there's a transaction. So yeah, I mean, you do one, yeah. you paint the house, you just remodel the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if it's out there, you're, it's still on the property. Right. It just has to be on the property. Oh. Like, I mean, I even went to, I mean, I literally called the chief inspector okay. to verify I'm like, so I can put a clothesline on the wash tub. That's a means to do laundry. Oh no! He goes, good try. It's got to have electricity. I'm like, uh, I can make that thing spin. But whatever. Uh, on the gas range, the range really needs to be there's to be a safety thing on the back to keep the anti tip to keep from tipping over. The other thing is technically that's a gas range, and that is a recirculating vent that needs to vent outside as well. Because it's gas. Yeah, it's gas. It needs to vent. Outside. So that's another thing yeah. they need well, to do. Yeah, and then it was yeah, it's cheap. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's the big that, that's pretty much the big the basis of the list. Yeah. The things I would definitely get addressed as quick as you get in the water issues. Okay. Get yeah. that water stuff taken care of. Get okay. that sealed up, get it done the way it's supposed to be done. Um I would argue the vent over the sink. You know, when you look at the report, that section is like this long. I mean I literally grab it in the books. Of how it's supposed to be done. Okay. It, there was a builder I was running, doing circles around in Candy Lake. They were arguing with me. I'm like, well, here you go. Um, that the beans eventually, you know, I mean, that's not pressing. I mean, you, you can take care of it eventually. Uh, really need to get after the GFI. You know, we set a lot that's in the kitchen. Okay. Because the purpose of that is if your toaster drops in the sink, you know, type of thing. Same yeah. thing in the bathroom. The bathroom. You don't shock yourself. Yeah. Exactly. The bathroom I has it because I tested it and I tripped it. Okay. Yeah, so a couple of little electrical issues. From an overall standpoint, get those couple things taken care of, you're good to go. Okay. Yeah. So really the water heater vent. Water heater's the big And the sealing that door, getting a door, different sealed yep. door, and then venting the 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 gas stove out yes. are the two big, and then the GFCIs in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. Which, I mean, if, the thing is, luckily, your water heater's next to your stove. It's all there, yeah. I'm going to write up that there's no attic access. Because technically, they're going to have to cut a hole together anyway, so I might as well tell them they need automatic access in. Oh, yeah. But it, you luck out because those are side by side. The vents, they can't use the same vent, obviously. Yeah, but, but they, they can go straight up. At the same time. Yeah, they can go straight up. Yeah, yeah. it's perfectly fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then technically, I wrote this up because these are not really the safest things. Oh, because, really? Well, you got a fire in the house, it's straight up carbon monoxide. Mm. That's not vented at all. Oh. At least a fireplace is a flu, and the purpose of it is to draft it. That's going to draft from nowhere. That's why I was saying these kind of things. You can buy the the, the heater that are heaters yeah. and air yeah. conditioners. Those are better. Yeah. If you're going to stay with that, 
Um, you have probably more than enough attic space if you want to put central in. Um, that would probably be, or you can do mini splits. Yeah, mini splits. Yeah, the mini split is the modern version of a window unit. Uh, yeah. The one that you hang on the wall, you know? Um, yeah, it's hanging on the wall, you hang outside. I mean, you can do that, but in all honesty, you've got room up there. The cheapest way to put, to condition this air is a central, central AC. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, you, if you, you do many splits if you're like, you know, can't get a big unit in. Well, or there's no attic. Or there's no attic. I had to do it in the one flip I did because it's just, I had no attic. I had like this much space. Oh, it was literally just rafters and roof and garbage, yeah. so that didn't work at all. Yeah. Yeah, there looks like there's space up there. No, yeah, we get tons of space. I did not see any entrances on either side. I didn't it's, either. It's a vent, but okay. it's painted, you know, painted shut. So. Okay. Um, yeah, and then if they say anything, they had the electrical box covered, the hole's a little bit bigger, so they duct taped the difference and painted it. Oh. I got to look at it. I had to cut their duct tape. So, um, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna not look at your interior panel. And yeah. Duct tape's on a proper face, so. Right. No, that's not a proper face. So it, sometimes okay. the reels may break. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, really, you get all honesty. Get the water heater issue taken care of. Get the electrical and move it. Okay. Deal with the other stuff. Okay. 